Greetings, friends, and welcome to today's Family Altar Audio Devotional. Our scripture reading today comes to us from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 1, verses 4 through 6, and the quote is by William Marion Branham, from the message entitled, A Greater Than Solomon Is Here. This message was preached on July the 25th, 1962. We hope that you are blessed today, as you listen. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Then said I, Ah, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. A prophet is a seer who sees the people's hearts and foretells the things that's coming to pass. And, and now there's a gift of prophecy that's in the church with the local members. It falls upon any of them. They give a prophecy, then it cannot be received to the church until it's been judged by two or three witnesses. And then they have to put their seal on that to say it's of God. Then they have to watch to see if it happens. And it may never fall on that brother or sister again. It may be on another one. And that's a gift of prophecy. But a prophet, P-R-O-P-H-E-T, is born a prophet. Always from, uh, was ordained that before the world ever even began. See? Now you take like Jesus Christ, the king of prophets. He was from the Garden of Eden, the seed of the woman, prophet. And Moses was born a proper child. A prophet. John the Baptist, well, Isaiah saw him 712 years before he was born and said he's a voice of one crying in the wilderness. 712 years before he was born. Jeremiah, God said before he was even formed in his mother's womb that he knew him and sanctified him and ordained him a prophet to the nations. See? Prophets have the word of God and are born a prophet. A gift of prophecy is different. That's a gift. Now, these nine, these five ordained gifts in the church, apostles, prophets, teachers, pastors, evangelists. Now, that is the five gifts that God places in the church by his foreknowledge. Then there's nine gifts that's locally in the church, speaking in tongues, interpretation of tongues, and gifts of wisdom and knowledge and and prophecy and so forth. Them's nine spiritual gifts that operates through the church, but then there's nine, five office gifts that God puts in the church. And oh, how we love to see them all operating in the... One of them is the pastor, teacher, and those things. Then the others comes along in confirmation. Gifts are to magnify. And God's just got it so even of... A fool will not be excused, will he? Yeah. It's so simple the way God has made it. And I like that. The more simpler you become, the greater you'll become before God. That's right. Don't never try to lift yourself up. When you do, you're bringing yourself down. See? He that exalts himself shall be abased. We trust that you have been blessed by God's word today. The devotional you just heard was derived from Brother Tim Dodd's Family Altar devotional book. If you are interested in a copy of your own, you can visit store.bibleway.org to order your own copy. If you would like to listen to more daily Family Altar audio devotionals and other spiritual message-related content that we produce, we invite you to subscribe to the 10,000 Worlds podcast or visit us on YouTube, Facebook, and on our website at 10kworlds.com. That's the number 10, the letter K, and the word worlds.com. If you feel that this ministry has been a blessing to you and you would like to support us financially to help us deliver more and better content to you in the future, you may easily do so by clicking the Consider Supporting Us link in the description of this episode or visiting our website to learn more. It's okay if you can't support us financially, but would you do us a favor? Pray for us and share this episode with others so that they might be blessed as well. Lastly, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell button so that you get notified when we publish more content like this. 
Thank you, and God bless you.